Here we have a Nintendo Switch OLED that came in for repair. Customer also mailed over USB-C connectors, M92 chip. And <laughs> anytime we see parts along with the device, it means the customer already attempted the repair. He failed and he mailed it over. We already have the motherboard out. And the first thing I see is the USB-C connector is not soldered properly. So the customer did attempt to repair this console and failed. If you look here, we see a lot of bridges. Right, or am I wrong? Let me zoom in. With the naked eye, I was able to see, yeah, yeah, right there. We do see bridges. How is that connector gonna work if you have bridges? We do not know if the second set of pins under the connector are soldered on properly or not. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of this connector, solder a new connector, and see what happens. Now, I did not check anything else on the board. Maybe we should, just to see what type of prior attempt was done on this board. The customer mailed over M92 chips, so it's very likely that he attempted to replace the M92. I see signs of flux here, but I do not think this chip was replaced, the BQ chip. Flux is probably because of the charging port. We even see flux right here. We see a burned connector here. And that's one bad thing about YouTube is people watch and think it's easy. I'll do it. It will take me 30 seconds. And then they get hit with reality. Practice is the mother of all skills. Skills are not going to happen overnight. It's going to take long hours under the microscope and a lot of failing. What's going on here? Was this chip replaced also? If yes, then I think I'm going to give up on the device right now. Why was this chip replaced? You cannot replace a USB-C connector and you want to replace a BGA chip, assuming this chip was replaced. I see a lot of flux around the chip, so we're going to assume the chip was replaced. I don't know. At this point, I see flux everywhere. And it looks like the M92 was also replaced. If that board was mailed here from day one, it would have been fixed five minutes and working back like normal. But it looks like everything was replaced on this board. Max chip, M92 chip, USB-C connector. USB-C connector is not soldered on properly. Why bother replacing other chips? I have no idea. I don't know what to do. Maybe we can replace the USB-C connector and we can replace the M92 chip and hope for the best. Let's complain less and do more because that board is not going to fix itself. We have to do it. But I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. Like we had a customer that came in yesterday with a laptop. I forgot what laptop he had, MSI or Lenovo. And the laptop was in 6 million pieces. I told him I'm not taking this in. He said, why? I saw you on YouTube and you have stuff that was worked on before. I said, yeah, because when people mail stuff in, I do not have an option. But you came in here and I can see the condition of the laptop. I cannot take it in. He said, is it because of the money? It's because of the time, which is linked to money, of course. He said, I'll pay. So I gave him a price if that laptop was fixed and a price if that laptop was not fixed. I'm not going to waste any time on this laptop if we are not going to get paid either way. And that's how I got rid of the customer. Sometimes customers do not understand when you say no, I do not want to take it in. So do it the other way. Just give them a high price and they will leave.
right now based on what I can see. I think we still have unleaded solder in the holes and it may be difficult to wake the solder off unless we apply leaded solder, mix it with unleaded. My soldering iron is off. That's number one requirement if you want to desolder the holes. Your soldering iron must be on. Now I can use the help of the hot air station. Yeah, you see, like I said, unleaded solder is still in the holes. So what we're going to do is apply leaded solder to make the wicking process a lot easier. And sometimes viewers ask, why are you applying leaded solder if you want to wake the solder off anyway? The reason I do it is so that we can mix leaded with unleaded. That will lower the melting temperature of unleaded and so that we can wake solder off easily. I do not just do it for fun. There's a reason. Let's try again. See? All you have to do is trust me. But of course, you're going to get that one stubborn hole because we still probably have unleaded solder inside that hole. But look at the other brothers and sisters. They do not want to play game, but that one likes to play games. And what happens if that hole want to play games? We burn it. We teach it a lesson. just like that person who's running away from the cops and he's speeding up 200 miles an hour and he knows he's going to get caught but he does it anyway just like that hole the hole knows that we're going to clean it but still want to play games And now let's go ahead and solder the new connector. Uh, we'll test afterwards. If it works, great. If not, then we will have to replace the M92 chip because we can tell the chip has been replaced before. And we are done. Press and hold. Keep holding until solder hardens. Like I said in the last video, wife calls in, do not answer. Robber comes in to rob your shop. Just let him take whatever he wants. Keep holding. And now you can let go. Follow that robber. And of course, don't forget to call the wife. And awesome.
let's flip the board and we want to apply solder on the legs all four legs on the back right over here and before we apply solder let's apply plugs flux is a requirement a major requirement if you do not have flux on the board then solder is not going to flow properly and you're going to get very bad joints And look at this, look at how solder flew all the way from back of the board to front of the board. Joints are making a good connection. We can make it even better than factory if we apply just a tiny bit of heat here and here. We do not have to, but why not? Beautiful. Now the question is, are we feeling lucky today? I think we're not feeling lucky because I have a battery right in front of me and I have an X on that battery. So I think that battery is bad to begin with, a test battery. I had a couple of them here, but I think Big Boss borrowed them and I have the one with the X, but let's try it out anyway. Maybe we get lucky where both the board works and the battery works. But if we do not get a working board, we're going to try another battery just to make sure. So right now, no signs of life at all. The screen is dark. I'm not seeing any voltage reading, any amperage reading, nothing. The screen is totally black. And that's most likely because either the M92 chip is not soldered on properly or it could be the max chip that we noticed that's been changed on the board either one and if the customer did replace the max chip then it's most likely the max chip because if the customer cannot solder a usb-c connector he most likely cannot solder a bga chip i cannot tell why don't we go over the m92 chip and see what happens Oh, wait a minute, I see a problem here. I see a couple of problems, actually. I did not notice this before. I was not doing a thorough inspection, but look at this. We see a bridge here. We see a bridge here. And God knows where else we have bridges. Okay, let's fix this. Let's get rid of the glare and look at the mess that we see on top here. Now I think we may have a missing component here or maybe not. I do not have another OLED donor board to compare. But let's assume that we do not have anything missing here, nothing missing here and nothing missing here. Let's assume. What a mess. I'm just creating a pond for fish to swim because viewers always ask, why do you apply a lot of flux? There goes your answer. Just creating a pond for fish to swim. Now you can stop asking that question. The 
If the customer soldered that chip on, it means the chip is new. Pin number one is right here. Add some ring light. And maybe I'm too zoomed in, but just bear with me. Nice. Look at all the decoration on the edges of the chip. That's exactly how we want it. Minus what you see here. And minus what you see on the bottom here. And of course, mine is what you see on the left. And then we would have a perfect chip. But now, of course, the top cap want to play games. So let's play games. I love you, don't leave me. The cab is yelling and screaming, don't leave me. Okay, this one is getting out of hand. We're good. The struggle is off life. Caps want to play games, you have to be patient. Being patient is one way to solve it. Or you can just give up and break the board in half. That's another option. You choose. Now we're going to try our defective battery again. The one with the X. Because I just do not want to let go. I had a life of friendship with this battery and it's hard to let go. Are we going to see anything on the screen? And the answer is yes. Yes. We have 5 volts. We have something on the screen, but it just went off. Let me grab a good working battery and I'll be back. Okay, so I got another battery right here. And this battery is not good because one of the... Look at this battery. I think that's the battery that the customer mailed over and I see a black wire coming off. So whoever worked on this console managed to destroy everything.
not just the console itself, but also the battery. Okay. Let's try it right now. Let's see what happens. Battery plugged in, and we're gonna plug the charging cable in. And do we see anything on the screen? I do not. And that is the reason when I see a console like this with a lot of repair, a lot of flux, things all over the place, I do not like to work on it because it turns out to be a waste of time, a rabbit hole. If somebody has time on his hands, he can spend all day to troubleshoot and fix it. But we do not do that in the shop here. Right now, the only other thing I can think of that's been tampered with on the board is the Max chip that was replaced. That I think was replaced because of the amount of flux that we saw around the chip. And either way, I do not have that chip in stock. Where is the chip? This one here. This one right here. There's 110% chance that chip was replaced. Not 100%, 110. Look at the thick layer of flux around the chip. Why don't we reflow that chip in the meantime, just as a final attempt before we call it off for today. We're gonna have to order that chip and try again. And then if that doesn't work, we're gonna mail it back to the customer and he can try his luck elsewhere. The time that it took to work on this, I could have done three, four laptops. And that is the reason why we charge a repair at 10 fee. Otherwise, we're gonna get a lot of junk like this where we work on something and we don't get paid. So the customer has to think twice before mailing their device over if they tampered with it. This customer paid for expedited service and we're gonna charge him for the repair attempt and we're gonna charge him for shipping. But that's the price that he has to pay for tampering with the console. It took time to disassemble the console. It took time to work on it, replace the USB-C connector, clean up the mess, replace the M92 chip, clean up the mess, and then we have to reassemble the console, or we have to order the chip, we have to try the max chip, reassemble the console, and if we go by no fix, no fee, then we're gonna get a lot of junk in the shop here. A lot of time-wasting junk. We have a lot of devices in the shop here that we need to fix, and we have to be practical. We have to be smart what to work on, what not to work on. If something is tampered with, like this one here, usually I would say no. But I saw light at the end of the tunnel. I thought maybe, we'll try it. Let's try this one last time before we call it off for this video, or let's call it part one of the video. Hey. Did you finish your work? Yeah, I finished. What should I do next? Are you sure you finished? Yeah. You have a lot of work. I'm done. How many? I did all of the ones you gave me. Yeah, what about the ones on the shelf? I did some of them. Some of them? You need to do all of them? No. What? You're fired. Then You're you fired. Just give me something else. Okay, I'll give you. Coffee. I'll give you something to do, okay? Miriam is the best worker in the shop here. She's very fast, very efficient, and very one, smart. One time I finished 20 things and he was still working on one thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's very true. And that's why I like to have her in the shop here, so she can help out. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and plug a battery, and we're going to give this one final try before we call it quits on this one. And do we see anything on the screen? We do not. Okay, nothing. All right, that's it. We're going to end the video right here. I'm going to order the chip, the max chip. And maybe I'll do a part two on this one, or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.